first of all, I want to say thank you guys for bringing me back to Canada. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. Uh, second thing is, I'm back, baby. <laughs> I got robbed the first time, but that's boxing for you. That's politics for you. Like Pauli Pauli Malinaji says, man, boxing is full of shit. It really is. Um, I get to win a set every time I fight, man. I fight outside of the state. I fight different states. Las Vegas, New York, Chicago, Washington. You name it, man. I fight the big cities. And what I notice is boxing is full of shit, man. I come to a different country, beat their star fighter, and they give me a draw. But the difference is, when I first fought Stephen Butler, um, I had 20 days to prepare for that fight. 20 days. You know what I said? I took it because I'm not scared of challenges. I'm not scared to to face adversity. You know, this time I have more than 20 days. I got like 40, 50 days, and I was preparing already to fight Leonardo Tyner, the guy uh, Stephen Butler knocked out. Um, and everyone thinking, you know, he's a big star. Now he knocked out Leonardo Tyner. I looked him up. 42 years old. <laughs> 42 years old, everyone's happy because of that. I give credit, Stephen's a good fighter, really good fighter, I give him the credit. I won't take that away from him. I'm not gonna take that away from him, but I am gonna say I'm here to fight. You know, I come to Canada to, to show you guys that you know what, people from Chicago, from the United States do come to fight. Uh, I love this country, so beautiful. The people are so, so polite. And I'm gonna say that for now, for now every time I, I talk about Canada. You know, so I'm really grateful to be here. I'm thankful for I have a Tiger to bring me back here, get my rematch, get me with mine, um, and I'm I'm here to bring the win for for Chicago. Uh, and but most importantly, just make it a good fight. And after I get this win, hopefully I can keep moving up. Thank you guys. Okay, I'm here oh, with man. Jamie. Or, uh... Uh, you fought Stephen Butler a couple years back. It was a really tough fight. They turned it into a draw. Some people say that Butler won it. Some people say that you won it. And uh, it was definitely a very exciting fight. I remember it very well. Uh, your name stuck in my head ever since then. Uh, what can you say about coming back here to Montreal? Uh, coming back this time, um, I come prepared. Uh, last time I fought him, I had 20 days. 20 days, and I was just, you know, I looked up his videos on YouTube, didn't know much about him, and I accepted the fight because I know I could beat him. Um, coming back the second time around, I got a lot of time to prepare. Uh, my body, my mentality is going to be there 100%, and um, I know I'm going to give a great fight and win the fight as well because I have so much confidence in this training of mine. Now, uh, it's your first time here at the casino, Yes. but I'll tell you right now, it's a small venue, it's a small ring. So what they're actually pushing for on this is uh, pay-per-view buys, right? Because okay. there's like under a thousand people in this room. So uh, it, it's definitely going to be a very pro Butler room. Yeah, absolutely. You, you fought him in a bigger stage the last time, yeah. but I, I have a feeling you're going to be able to hear everybody a bit more this time around. Uh, absolutely, but uh, the, the difference is though, um, fighting in New York, fighting in Chicago, the fans don't give up about anything. You know, I come to Canada, I love the people here, they're so nice. I saw what happened to, uh, I believe his last name was Cook, when the whole riot thing happened after he knocked him out. And that was just, that, from what I hear, that's rare to happen from Canada, people oh, and fans. Absolutely, I wasn't trying to, to, to make, the casino's pretty strict with security, so we're not too worried about that here. So I'll be fine hearing the, the name calling, the whatever you want to say, I'm fine with them, used to it. Um, I grew up with four brothers, two sisters, so I got picked on a lot, and, and I, I, I got the mentality for it. Um, I'll be prepared, I know the fans here do love boxing, um, they'll be excited for the fight, and again, I'm going to do everything. I can to give them a good fight as well. All right, well, we look forward to it. It's happening March 31st here at the Casino de Montreal. Thank you very much. Before I let you go, I want one real quick thing. Yeah. Give me your Triple G Canelo 2 pick. I'm picking uh, Canelo again, man. I thought you won the first time, and I'm going to say he wins the second time. He definitely has a better chance this time around. Yeah, now that he felt him out a little, so I'm I, going again with Canelo again. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah.